we see that inside our animal class there is a method eat. So what will happen if we also have eat this behavior inside our dog class? For example, we change this to dog eating. Now if we run this program, you will see now the dog eating is override the animal eating. So for convention, we will also add the override annotations. These annotations is not mandatory. It is used to provide information to the compiler. It specifies the compilers that the method after this annotation override the method of the superclass. So can we still call the superclass method? We can still call the method by using super.eat. Now if we run the program again, you can see the animal eating and also the dog eating. So it can successfully call the superclass method by using super.eat. And there is some rules that we need to know is the same method declared in superclass and also the subclass can have different access specifier but the access specifier in the subclass must provide a larger access than the access specifier of the superclass for example we can still use the protect here because the public has a larger access than the protect but if we Make it opposite. This is perfect, and this is protect. And you can see there is an error pop up immediately. So we must follow this restriction in order to make it work.